theme for this year's uh, for this year for the National Prayer and Breakfast observance is comes from Psalms chapter 33 verse 12. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Now, as the representative of Eric Holder, the Attorney General of the United States in the Southern District of Georgia, and also as a person of faith, I embrace the history of the National Day of Prayer. From the calls of our founding fathers for prayer during the Constitutional Congress, to President Ronald Reagan's signing into law in 1988 and the designation of the first Thursday in May as the annual observance of the National Day of Prayer, and to the 1998 Congressional Authorization allowing the President of the United States to issue each year a proclamation designating the first Thursday of May as the National Day of Prayer, which the people of the United States return to God with prayer 